Hey everyone, it's Dr. Charlotte Hodges and I want to make two little quick videos for you today and the first video I want to talk about is um, follow up and the importance thereof. Um, I've had quite a few patients here recently that they've either called in, I've received calls from their PCPs, or they've just uh, come in to make appointments and they are several years out from their surgery and they're starting to have some issues either with weight gain or vitamin deficiency, protein deficiency. And you know, and I thought it would be um, a really prudent topic to bring up because you know, it's not enough that you get a good safe surgery. That's step one. Step two, which I think is almost more important, is that long-term follow-up because that's really how you can ensure the long-term success for the surgery that you've just worked so hard to get and to maintain. I mean, going through that whole insurance process is not easy. There's the time, there's the expense, and so you certainly want to make sure that um, you're kind of keeping everything in check. And so, you know, they've done studies that have shown what gives people the best chances for success. And I think it's kind of interesting. I almost feel like, um, do you really need to have a study to tell us these things? It seems more common sense. However, they have done studies and there are three things um, that patients need to be mindful of to make sure that they have good long-term success. So, number one, they said if patients routinely log their food, they're more apt to be successful. And that makes sense. I think it's very easy for patients to get off track, maybe go on vacation, or you know, you start to snack a little bit here or there, and then next thing you know, your pants are getting a little tighter, and you're like, I haven't really been eating. You know, I don't know what's really changed. And I will tell you, you'll be really surprised if you just start to log your foods more routinely. I know for myself personally, I just can't have um, a lot of calories in a day. I have a really, really crappy BMR. Um, I think my basal metabolic rate is 1,087. It is literally the same as my 89-year-old 89 gram, 89 grandmother. Crappy. And that's just... I have jeans that's my jeans can't help it um because clearly i'm not 89 but for me i really have to make sure um that i'm logging my foods on a more routine basis because let's face it trying to maintain a weight with only taking in 1100 calories that's not easy um and so you know there are several really good um food apps that are out there today. I mean, I'm sure that Apple has one or Google Health, um, but the two that I really like are um, Berry-tastic, and you can actually link up with our office, whether you're a patient of ours or not, but you can link with our office when you download the Berry-tastic app, and our, um, I think our code is 387171. Um, it has a really robust database. I think the other thing what's nice about Berry-tastic is it was specifically written for bariatric patients. So you can put timers. There's a big um, whole um, database of um, recipes in addition to the food log um, database. So that's very helpful. There's also MyFitnessPal. Um, I use that one a lot, but that's because I'm able to link that with Strava, which is my little walking app that I like. But it doesn't matter whether you're doing an electronic um, food log or you're just handwriting it down like what my mom does because she doesn't like apps or electronics or any of that business. Um, but just trying to, on a more routine basis, being mindful about what you're eating, that helps to keep you on track. So that's number one, logging your food more routinely. Number two, the next thing would be is um, patients that routinely weigh themselves. So if... Um, it doesn't have to be every day. And I would actually recommend that you don't do it every day. You will just drive yourself crazy. And believe me, you have not gained two pounds in a day. That's going to be water weight. But if you um, routinely weigh yourself maybe once a month or once a week or once every two weeks, I think that that's just a way, just like with the food log, as a way to kind of monitor your long-term progress. And it kind of keeps you on track. You will be able to see, okay, Maybe I've gained a couple of pounds here or there. Maybe you can go back, look at your log and see, has anything changed in your diet? Or has anything changed in your activity levels? 
Sometimes it's not the fact that you're eating more, but it's just that you're moving so much less, which is what I've seen for most of my patients um, during all this COVID mess. Um, it's not really that my patients are eating a whole ton more. It's just that they're literally working in front of their computer eight hours a day, and they're just not getting up and moving at all. I know whenever um, COVID first started and I wasn't allowed to operate the, for the first six weeks, I did all my visits um, via telemedicine and via Zoom. And um, I think I would maybe get in six or 700 steps a day, maybe. Uh, that's not a lot of steps. And so clearly, even if I was eating here, my energy, my energy expenditure was way down here. So that gives me a surplus without me really eating any different. Does that kind of make sense? So um, I do encourage you guys to weigh yourself on a more routine basis if you can, because that's one way, one other way to kind of check yourself. And then finally, most importantly, you need to have good follow-up. You know, um, I will never ever fuss at my patients for their weight. I will fuss at them for not doing protein. And you guys that are out there that are watching this, that know that you've gotten off base with your protein, you know I will have absolutely no sympathy for you. You have to do your protein. You have to do your vitamins. You're always going to need to do those things, especially if you're a patient that's had a duodenal switch or a long limb bypass. And so, um, I always will see my patients the first year, like a week after surgery, a month after surgery, and then every three months. And then finally, um, after your first year, it's like every six months to every year. I really encourage you, even if um, you're doing well after that first year, go see your bariatric surgeon at minimum once a year. You need to get good routine lab work drawn just to make sure that at the very least, you're not having any micronutrient deficiencies. But more than that, I think if you're trucking along and maybe you've gained a couple of pounds here or there, sometimes it's just nice to have a neutral third party kind of say, okay, let's look and see where you were, where you want to be, and what we need to do to get you there. And so um, I kind of feel like I'm part surgeon, part doctor, part therapist. So, um, and that's what I'm here for. I just want all my patients to do really well. So, you know, for my patients that are not keeping up with their long-term follow-up, I would say for the most part, when I'm seeing them several years out, um, it's not because they're doing well. It's because they're having nutrient deficiencies or protein deficiencies, or they've regained weight. And I do know that I'll have some patients that will tell me, oh, I just, I knew I was gaining weight and I didn't want to get fussed at. I promise you, no one in my office will ever fuss at you. I will never fuss at you. I promise, I promise. Um, because I know you're going to be hard enough on yourself. And I can't help you unless I see you. So with that being said, I really encourage you guys, if you have had surgery or if you're planning on having surgery, please, please keep up with your follow-up. Let's say you were a patient and you've had weight loss surgery. Maybe you've moved to a new city or a new state. Look around in your area, go on to a blog or a Facebook and try to see if there's a good bariatric surgeon or internal medicine doctor that's in your area that takes care of bariatric patients so that you can have that good routine long-term follow-up. I just cannot express to you how important it is for your long-term success. So, I hope that this has helped you guys. Make sure that you log your food. Make sure you're weighing yourself routinely. But more importantly, see your doctor. You know what they say, an apple a day keeps us away. So I hope that this has helped you guys. Take care.